Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin and I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes educator and a metabolism expert. In today's episode we will be covering the top best anti-inflammatory foods for diabetes. Let's dive right into it. This is John, a 45 year old middle-aged man. He works Monday till Friday sitting at an office desk without much physical activity throughout the day. The only time he moves is when he goes to get lunch. As John struts into his favorite Korean fried chicken restaurant, his face lights up with tremendous joy. He gobbles down a dozen honey chicken wings and his favorite soft drink, then goes outside for a smoking break to unwind. This is his daily routine. Now John still possesses some awareness about his own health and goes for yearly medical checkups for a blood test. This year though, he is greeted with some shocking news. His doctor breaks the news with a solemn face. He's diabetic. John's heart is immediately filled with regret as he flashes back to his daily dose of fried chicken wings and soda. He knows that his diet played an important part in this outcome. John decides to turn over a new leaf and incorporate some healthier options into his diet. He doesn't know where to start though. These foods would be beneficial for those who are diabetic, pre-diabetic or even those who have made a new year's resolution to start eating healthier. Did you know that one underlying cause for type 2 diabetes is in fact inflammation? How is diabetes related to inflammation? Well, due to unhealthy diet and sedentary lifestyle, excess fats build up and increase the level of inflammation. Ultimately, this alters the insulin's action. Your inflamed cells become more and more resistant to insulin, and this is how diabetes progresses. Because of that, anti-inflammatory foods help. Without further ado, let's first start with the first food in our list. Go nuts with nuts because they're healthy. We're talking about the plain nuts, not those coated with sugar and honey. These not only help improve the, your heart health, but, but they're also consuming nuts is super important and it's linked to lower fasting blood sugar levels and improve the insulin resistance. They provide energy without spiking your blood sugar levels, and the best are walnuts. And the rest are provide quite a bit of benefit as well. Second on our list is broccoli. Some of us step into adulthood unrelenting and never outgrow that dislike about that broccoli. But before you cross this off your list, hear me out. Broccoli is rich in fiber and pack important nutrients and antioxidants that lower the insulin resistance and protect against cellular damage and even prevent eye disease. Its powerful anti-inflammatory effect thanks to its sulforaphane content. Next up, we have garlic. A common household ingredient but with hidden abilities. Sounds like a little far-fetched but uh, researchers discovered something intriguing when consumed alongside medications. Participants were found to have slightly lower blood glucose levels due to a compound called allicin. So that's an anti-inflammatory substance found in garlic. So besides warding of vampires, garlic also has antibacterial and antiviral features. But just don't go around using garlic to prevent COVID, all right? The next item is chickpeas. These super legumes are high in fiber, they're high in protein, they're extremely low in glycemic index, which means that they will be barely increasing your blood sugar levels, even after consuming quite a bit. But wait, they're also packed with antioxidants and they support your digestive system and lower your cholesterol levels. What more can you ask for, right? Another anti-inflammatory food is squash. They're dense, they're filling, and they're relatively low in calories. So they have a low glycemic index as well. They're super rich in antioxidants and they are a good substitute for sweet potatoes because they contain less sugar. Though more research is needed to truly confirm their benefits, they make a great addition to pretty much any meal. Next on the list, Greek yogurt. It seems yogurt is linked to every health benefit possible. Well, kinda. That includes diabetes. The yogurt is so rich in probiotics and the bacteria, the good bacteria for you, and it's extremely beneficial. They overall lower your blood sugar levels, but just, just 
pick a plain yogurt over the flavored ones because the flavored ones contain a lot of sugar. Well, the plain yogurt is boring and unappetizing, but you can become creative with that. But I hear you. So you can add some blueberries to your uh, yogurt or some other fruits that you will enjoy. The blueberries is the next item because the strawberries, blueberries, they are all very helpful with reducing the insulin resistance. They can help you manage your blood sugars and, you know, and the cravings too. So you can add that to yogurt, like I said, and add some crunch to it and with some spice and cinnamon, you're good to go. Now, cinnamon is great on dairy products. And as you know, that's next in the list and it's been widely used, as you know, since centuries. It's anti-inflammatory features there. It has subtle effect on the blood sugar control like we discussed before. We can reap its benefits even with as little of a quarter of a teaspoon daily, but to get the maximum benefit, you really need to use a lot of it or use a supplement. Next on the list is omega-3 rich foods. Remember, not all the fats are bad. Omega-3 is healthy acid that's found in fish like mackerel, trout, sardines, and salmon. Flex seeds and walnuts are also very rich in omega-3. See, omega-3 helps reduce the risk of heart attacks and control the cholesterol and can prevent diseases related to nerves. Well, not the anxiety, but uh, the neuropathy for sure. The most importantly, omega-3 has powerful anti-inflammatory properties. Last but not least is spinach. You heard me talking about this before. Spinach made the Popeye strong. But what's more, it's labeled as another superfood by the American Diabetes Association. Well, you like them around. Spinach uh, really is really that good? Yeah, it is good. It is non-starchy, which means it's barely increasing your blood sugar and you can consume it in large quantities and you'll still be okay. It is rich in fiber, it's low in calories, it stabilizes your blood sugar levels. So what else, right? It may not taste great due to its bitter aftertaste, but hey, no pain, no gain, right? So that's the top 10 amazing foods that I want to share with you to stabilize your blood sugar levels. Remember, these foods are not a replacement for your daily medications or supplements. Take your current medications and supplements as instructed by your physician. Maybe you will need fever medication after using these foods more often in your diet though. So, of course, you should always seek a professional advice if you have any worries or questions. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends and family. Well, tell us your experience with these foods as well. Remember, knowledge is power, and let us know in the comments what you would like to know in the future videos. Until then, take care guys, bye bye. All right, thank you for watching and I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.